hi guys how are y'all today we are going to learn how to create a foreign key without using any query so in this video we are going to use a GUI technique to create a foreign key or a primary key using SQL management studio so before we go any forward please subscribe to my channel as well so this is the interface that you see in order to create a table we have to create a database first so let's create a database first this is the basic step to create a foreign key or a primary key or a table so let's right click on the new database and let's give the database name let's say test and you just have to click on ok so you can see our new database is created which is test now you just have to click on plus and then you can see a table uh, folder and now right click on it you can see table option just select that and now we have to give column name data type and uh, if you want to allow null value to that particular column so first uh, value will be id let's give it as integer and we won't allow any null value to this uh, particular column because it will be our primary key uh, the second will be names the data type will be string so let's give it as varicare it will hold 50 values and it won't allow null so names will be mandatory the th third uh, or you can just uh, uh, give two names for now now we have to go to column properties and uh, we have auto increment id so click on id specification identity specification and uh, you can see a drop down uh, as it's no we have to turn it to yes first in order to uh, enable uh, the auto increment option now ease identity should be yes and identity increment should be one in order to increment by one and identity seed by one now we are going to create a primary key so set id as primary key that can be done by right clicking on it and setting it as uh, identity now we are going to create a table and let's give it as uh, details uh, this will be our table name control s and our table gets saved now just click on plus in order to see the changes you can see a table is created details so now we are going to create a second table uh, right click on the table and click on table okay so we are going to add a column again uh, the first will be id that will be our foreign key and the id will be integer type and it won't allow null value second uh, column name will be marks or scores or subjects let's say subjects and let us give it as a uh, varcare it will hold 50 characters and we will be allowing nulls or we won't allow nulls whatever you want uh, let us give the third column names as marks and the data type will be integer and let's let us allow nulls uh, this time so id will be our foreign key uh, first we are going to go to column properties uh, so that we can auto increment our id so scroll down and you can see identity specification again and it's uh, uh, not enabled meaning it's uh, turned as no we have to turn it as yes uh, by just uh, typing in yes and uh, identity increment and identity seed will be one one so that it can increment by one every time we add a value so uh, there you go we have to just add a table name now let's say scores and just control s so that you can save let's see if our table is created or not let's check it. 
so first we have to create a relation uh, so just right click on it and click on relations add click on add and now click on tables and columns specification drop down and then you can see a box with three dots click on that and now it will ask you to add a primary key table and foreign key table the primary key table will be details and the uh, primary key will be id foreign key table will be scores and the foreign key column will be id as well so just click on ok and you can close this window and you have to save the changes here uh, in order to create a foreign key so control s and you can see you get a warning you just have to click yes and our foreign key and primary key is uh, successfully created i guess uh, to check that we can refresh the page and uh, check the details and yeah you can see the primary key is created in the details and uh, let's check if the foreign key is created or not so click on plus and check the columns yes id is our foreign key so let's add some values to this uh, tables one by one so you can see names and id is already created we didn't use any query in this uh, particular video so uh, now we are going to add some values to these tables so to, how to do that we just have to right click on it and edit top 200 rows we don't have to add any values to id because it's already auto incremented so we just have to add names here it's already grayed out so you won't be able to add any values so just add names here let's add our first name let's say ismail so you can see one is already incremented let's add our second value let's say shift let's add our third value let's say kumar so you can see uh, id is already incremented by 111 you can see 123 uh, uh, it's already incremented uh, in order to save this you can just uh, execute sql query and um, the data will be saved in the database and uh, now we are going to add some values to score table how to do that right click on it and edit top 200 rows you won't be able to add any values to id so let's add subject first will be english let's add some marks let's add marks as 55 uh, let's add subject as maths or marathi yeah marathi uh, marks will be let's say 70 and let's add a third subject let's say mathematics or maths uh, marks will be let's say 88 there you go so you can see uh, three values are already created or two values are already created so how you can see uh, if these values are already added or not uh, for that we have to run a query so we are just going to run one query in order to see if these values are already added or not so select star from the table name which will be details and scores so first we'll check the details and let's uh, check both the tables so we'll just copy and paste it and change the table name here let's say scores yep now select it and execute this query you can see values are already added uh, english marathi 1 2 you can see the auto incremented is already successful for these tables and there you go that's how you can create a foreign key without firing any query and a primary key as well
thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button please subscribe to my channel let's learn if you have any queries please post it to the comment section i'll surely answer your queries thank you so much